and here we are at Noses Point on the Eastern Coast. And where I'm heading today is Crimden, at the other end of the Eastern Coast. different here without the snow. Good morning on this glorious March morning. Today I'm at Nose's Point heading along the East Durham coastal footpath. My destination is Crimden at the other end of it. Now I am aware that some people might say well the path does stretch further north to Sunderland and south towards Hartlepool. But for today, I'm focusing on the East Durham part of it. Quite looking forward to it. Now that's a view. Not as much snow as there was last time. Still waiting for those orchids. Yes, the wind noise has died down now, so I can start talking a little more. And um, for anybody that's interested, I do seem to be glossing over this a bit. Um, I did do a more detailed video of this area just here um, when it was snowing, but the snow has long disappeared now. And spring has finally come, and the colours are starting to come out. Never get tired of that view. As we leave Hawthorne behind, the eastern coast is known for its sea glass, especially to the north of the sea and beach. But sea glass can be found all the way down the eastern coast, uh, Blackhall and Horden. Um, and we're coming up to somewhere quite renowned for its sea glass, Shippersea Bay. Yes, Ship of Sea Bay, that's the only path down, and it is steep and dangerous. Not for the faint hearted. Ship of Sea Bay, it is dangerous to get to, but there are some quite interesting sea glass and rock samples down there.
we now come to an area that is blighted not by curry waste but by something else subsidence yes the subsidence in these parts can be quite bad at times the high tide line is at the base of the cliffs and it is slowly slipping into the sea. Quite picturesque. Not bad at all. And as we leave the coast and enter another Dean, this one's Foxhole Dean. So named because apparently there was a hermit used to live at the bottom, called The Fox. What a lovely story. By now the wind has blown my cap off twice and rip the windshield clean off my microphone so I'm afraid it's voiceover from now but the views are still pretty as I head to Warren House Gill That is some climb up from Warren House Gill The view in front of me is really starting to open up now as I make my way to Black Hills Gill in the Horde. It's turned out to be a lovely day. It's quite nice here at Black Hills Gill. and continue along the top. As more gills are crossed and cliffs are conquered, we slowly make our way to Lime Kiln Gill and to the largest dean on the eastern coast and its exit Dean Mouth and its viaduct. By now I have travelled seven miles of this coastline, with the views opening up little by little, and as Blackhaw Rocks comes into view, I cannot resist but to take one last image. A 
it's surprising how much this has changed over the years. I mean, this just looks like a gentle grassy bank down to the beach. But add in some coal spoil, an aerial conveyor, and Michael Caine, and you've got the location for the final scene in Get Carter. Blackhall Rocks, once spoiled by Corrie Waste, but now a nature reserve, and it's easy to see why. As the end of the hike draws close and my feet start to tire, I can see the end of my journey come to view at Crimden. And here we are at Crimden Beach, which is the end of our journey. I don't know if you can see in the background there, I started off up there early this morning and I'm here at the end of the East Durham coast as it moves on into Hartlepool and Teesside. So, that's it, apart from one little small surprise. The East Durham coast, it's a coastline of beaches, cliffs and deans. And here we are at the southern end of it. So might as well fit in one more Dean. Welcome to Crimden Dean. And as this hike draws to a close, it's been an excellent one. My feet are starting to twinge a bit, but thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you have as well. Whether you've enjoyed the beaches, the deans, the cliffs, or even just the journey, do not forget Everything you've watched, everything you've seen, this is nature on the East Durham coast.